How did you meet Mark Twitchell? I was trying to find more opportunities in my area. Went online, there was a place called Mandy.com which had auditions and stuff on it and his was one of the postings. So you sent him your, your headshot and, and resume? Yeah, I sent in a, electronically a headshot and resume and uh, he called me back and said, hey, I, I want to meet you and do an audition with this. He didn't even ask me to run lines. He just said, no, I, you know what, I think you can do it. Definitely, I've seen your stuff online and, and talk to you now and I think you'd be good for the party. It was pretty unorganized uh, when I first got there. When I looked at the, the weapons, when I saw that they were real, I thought, this is off. They said they would have a mannequin or a dummy to run the sword through, and when I got there, there was none. There was no uh, dummy. There was no dummy. I'm the dummy, apparently. So I'm sitting there thinking, tied up, and find out I'm the dummy. So I said, you got to make a dummy. If you, if you want to lunge that through, because he started talking about, well, we could just lunge in and cheat through your arm, and I'm like, ah, I don't feel comfortable with that. I'm not sure if I want to sit in there. I'm already uncomfortable in my head. So I had to help them to make a dummy. There was a couch out behind the garage. I said, well, if you take the foam out of the, the cushions and you stuff it into my shirt and stuff, and then we could make up blood packs, because that was another thing. Why is there no fake blood? The scene calls for blood, and there's no fake blood here. Um, so I had to tell him how to make the fake blood. He sent somebody out to get the corn syrup and, and the stuff, and then I ended up mixing it. Uh, with them in a bucket there. Well, what kind of direction was he giving the other actor when he was killing uh, your character? He was telling him, you know, step into it and really give it a good lunge, you know? Just thrust into him. Uh, you can't just thrust into him. What do you, you don't say that. You don't thrust into him. You thrust towards him and you cheat the angle for the camera and it makes it look like it got it. Then we switch to the dummy. The dummy actually gets it and uh, we show the blood of the drip dripping out of the dummy body. and. I'm looking at that guy thinking, this guy looks like he's thinking about doing it. Uh, who are these guys? What am I doing here? Why didn't I bring an assistant with me? Why didn't I bring somebody with me? I shouldn't be here. And that's when I started looking around the room. So I'm like, this is not good. He's, he's made this whole garage so that nobody would really know what's going on in here. Everything's blocked out. He's got the, the stuff around for sound. Uh, this is a bad situation. If I don't get to the door, I don't think anybody will hear me. Are, are you telling me that, that you <laughs> thought you were in danger? Yeah. Fear for your safety. Yeah, well, I was there. I thought I was in danger for my safety. Absolutely.